Stasky, right here on LA Talk Radio. What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Jared Zavostoski, and you're listening to and watching Modern Male Radio. This is all the stuff your mama should have told you and the stuff your daddy never knew. And joining me tonight, we've got two special co-hosts. Wow. Woo! Leah Polka and Hi. Sarah Chapman. Hi. They're back. Yay. Wait, wait. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, you guys. What's up? How are you doing? All that. And can't sit all with that. us. Sarah, yeah, do you want to do you wanna take us. over and introduce our guest? Uh, well, why don't we have our regular co-host nope. introduce our guest? Cleo nope. Thomas is why here with us tonight. We could off, just like, both uh, do it at the same time. Two girls, one Cleo. I've never been <laughs> against that. <laughs> 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 no? I've never been against that. Shit got weird fast. Yeah, I've never been against that one at all. I've always enjoyed the two-girl thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. So without further ado, Cleo Thomas. Hey. What's going on? <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, it's crazy because we, I mean, all of us kind of grew up watching movies of you. Yeah. Uh, and you were like a, a big mark of the late 90s, early 2000s. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cool. It's good to see you in person in the flesh. Thank and uh, yeah, so we're going to we're gonna be talking about dating today. I'm with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, let me just say, I almost didn't recognize him. Like, I knew I knew who he was earlier, and I was like, you that I keep my ghost yeah, entirely in the dark like, all the time. He has gotten so tall and so like handsome. Yeah. I love how we're talking about him like, like he's not right here. It's like, like oh, that just guy. totally ignore him. But yeah. it, was like, it, was, <laughs> it was like Justin Bieber. It was like, oh my god, I'm a believer. Who knew? Yeah. Like he got a You know what I mean? Like it was too crazy. Yeah, what's like, the what's the nickname? Uh, for the here? fans? Yeah, like yeah. what do you go to your fans call you? They just call me Cleo. She's okay. like, so it's like Eddie. There's no like <laughs> Cleo Nights. Cleo Lieber, there's nothing like that. Nah, like nothing know. special like that. Oh, Freaky Cleo was there for a while though. Now I think about it, yeah, okay. that was, yeah. There was okay. a whole song created about that. Uh-uh. So yeah, yeah Freaky uh-uh. Cleo for a while. Were you the inspiration? I was. Uh-uh. I was. What did you was, do? There was <laughs> a yeah, lot of old tweets back in the day that were kind of describing what to do during certain times. And it kind of took off into its own Twitter account and then it became songs and yeah, it was, it was it was very ah, interesting time during certain wow. times. I yeah. know. I feel like we're on a show where you can say everything on your mind right now. Yeah, like you can. you're no longer on the Disney Channel. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> like now I'm now. aware. <laughs> all right, so I'll make sure to speak it all fully yeah, now for now on. Like so what was it like growing up as a, as a child actor, kind of being in the spotlight? And then I mean, I'm sure you had to deal with women like in a completely new way. Yeah. So you went from being like, oh, you're chasing, you know, what well, were you chasing girls at that time? I was always, yeah. I, and I think about it, I've always kind of been the ladies' man type of kid. Okay. Uh, like, a lot of people don't know, way back in the day, there was a show called Kids Say the Darndest Things. Yes. Yeah, And yeah. I was on that. And um, I, had, the host at that time asked me how many girlfriends I had, and I said 15. Nice. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and I, they were saying, why is he attracted to you? I said, because of my ears. So it was like it was a constant thing that okay. I grew up and I was like, okay, now the spotlight is really on me. I was like, oh, okay, so it's not as hard as ever. all my <laughs> friends seem to think it is. And yeah. Do you lit. think that the spotlight had anything to do with your ability with women? Yeah. Okay. I'm 100% certain of that. Okay. Yeah. Back in the day, I was like, oh, no, I'm just that kid. Nah, nah, nah. We know why now. I was like, oh, y'all just wanted to. I get it now. But there are factors involved with that. I mean, you were, you were in the spotlight from a very, very early age. Yeah. So you kind of grew up into that, and I'm sure you were practicing acting classes or something that I actually would recommend in my date coaching program, hmm. uh, even for people that don't want to be actors, because it teaches you to be very comfortable in uncomfortable circumstances. True. So I, I'm sure with that, combined with the fact that you kind of took off, I mean, what, you were like 16, you were already in films. Yeah. So, I mean, what, you hit puberty at what, 12? <laughs> I, 14? So, like, <laughs> like, so let me think. Going back, so Holes was when I was 13, and then puberty, I would say, oh, yeah, they're 14, 15, and then I – Really, what kicked it off for me in, in that in that world and being dating and women, it was after I did Roll Bounce, and then I went on Scream Tour with Bow Wow. So like, we're in arenas, you know what I mean? Like we're in sold out arenas, and yeah. everyone only came to this arena, thirty two thousand people to see y'all. So after this show, where are y'all going? Because right. at least half this arena trying to get. <laughs> Nick, so they're, like, oh. they're trying to be star fuckers yeah call so a spade a spade. that's what that's what that was going down for star fucker i like yeah. that yeah yeah it's an actual term it's not like fuck boy but star fuck it's like a new one we could have star fuck boys star too fuckers. star, star fucker yeah it's actually really old that's not something that i was just like oh hey here it, no, is. it sounds fuckers. new to me like it sounds brand new <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, like when wow, well, then i guess like, i'm bringing star like fuckers back we had blog for us we had groupie you know you got video ho you had thought Right. What? What? Thought. T H O T. That yeah. whole. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thought for like what last summer? Are we still on what? respect? <laughs> Are we still on respect? <laughs> We're gonna have to create know. some new terms, but I like Starfucker. That's like so old to me, but okay. I feel like I feel like it's like I'm just gonna you know, we'll just like you give somebody an official title. That's new now. Like dun 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 dun. Here Star comes Starfucker. <laughs> <laughs> 
You really don't want to be a star fucker, though. That's really That's not a like a glorified Shh. term. Like, yeah, I'm a star fucker. It's like being a pro ho. Like, are you, you kidding me? I know so many girls, girls that are proud of, of their their pussy power yes. and like how many stars they're fucking they're just like right. they're just like walking out I with their like vagina that's first that's a misconception too though <laughs> like I feel like that's a misconception because not all girls are like that like I couldn't give I couldn't give a damn no much. certainly not all girls are like True. that but in LA you actually have a very specific kind of like like mutant sub demographic of women <laughs> only <laughs> sub demographic these are the girls that are actually taking pictures with the guys on Instagram on their yachts yeah like that's all they do yes. and, like, and all they do all they just chase movie stars around right. or and i mean movie stars are a little bit more elite like they're a little harder to get to these days but like definitely always with the rappers always with the promoters always with the always on the fucking yachts you know the game bro you yeah. got it. that's exactly <laughs> how it is right. yeah man so yeah i mean and and this day and age like i, I as an actor like you kind of have to protect your image right all the time kind yeah of. all the time yeah constantly I'm, like I've never had the bad, you know, bad influence thing. Like I was never, never got into drugs. Never was drinking like that. Just how I was raised. I yeah. just wasn't mentally. That's what not where I was. And um, you know, to see me myself as an adult now and really looking at it, like, yo, these females is really gunning still, and they want they'll gun just to fuck up your fuck up yeah. what you got going. Sorry that we're about to yeah. be that that those people. Sorry about that. <laughs> I pre- well, in advance. That's part at of least you gave me the like, warning. I mean, no, at least I gave you the warning. At least you gave me the fair warning. warning. No, I yeah. did. Fair oh, warning. That was part of your warning. Like, she's spoiler alert. Now. Nope, I ain't doing it. Didn't do it. Didn't happen. Well, what? Catch me at your VIP door then. Mm. I'm gonna go home. Nope. Oh, nope. I'm gonna eat a cheeseburger. Like, <laughs> <laughs> heels are in the purse. Flops are on the feet. Done. Like, oh. Like, wow, you got the game. You got the game locked too. She said, "I have fresh pair of panties in my purse." <laughs> uh, okay. So are we are we back on star fuckers? Because I can't understand you when you guys go back and forth. Well, I'm like, I'm like, huh? No, what? not really. No. Are that like That's super? Like a joke. Keep up, keep like, up. So it is like a, joke. a fresh pair of panties in your purse is like you know you plan on going out and you just keep an extra. Oh yeah, I know a lot right, of girls right. that do that like, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was saying, I was asking her like, is that what you have you know happening with you right now? You put a fresh pair in just in case. When we do modern female, we're gonna have to do like like a whole whole survival kit. Like the oh. stuff that girls need to have on them, you know, okay. in case shit. You Me know? too versus what they actually have on them. Because I feel like that's very important to like actually do a bag check. Mm, okay. I feel like if you're Random a down ass hoe, you bring a suitcase. Just stop bitches bag. at the door. You True. Suitcase of shit. You like, definitely have a larger bag. Uh-huh. If so, you're not, well, then you, if you're like, crude, then you've got like, you know, your little clutch. Right? Have my with, the, uh, travel. with the image thing, do you, do you ever find that like you, you attract girls that are trying to like, like, I mean, maybe not st- to star fucker, but maybe they're like a star hopper. So they're trying to like get close to you to get on your Instagram or to get in your social media feeds and stuff like that. Yeah. That would be a shout out. like a black China these days? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's definitely shade. the case. Shade. Like just me, it's me and my crew. Like girls be trying to figure out how to get to me any type of way. If my partners is out and they got the slick living snapbacks on, girls are walking up ripping their hats off squad goals just to put the hat on and like post it like oh i'm with the crew. you ain't right. even near me why are you tagging <laughs> me i'm not even there but that's how the shit goes it's 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 the a really in interesting Washington. game all for the attention <laughs> and all for the instagram and yeah. so i'm sure that like drops somebody's attraction level from like you know whatever they were before to a zero absolutely because that you can tell that they with the bullshit and you don't know what's going to come after that yeah everybody's right. just, like I everyone wants to be in the drama the somehow. hashtags are coming right. after that is yeah, what's coming that's, that's, that's the and only I, thing coming but let me ask you a question though are your friends like oh my man come on out with me now tonight like i can't yeah. wait to see you <laughs> wait, wait, they're, wait. they're receiving all the, the the balls you miss like is that do they love no, my out partners is actually hip to game like we don't really we one of the only crews in the city that don't move like that we didn't seen it all already so when we see the shit plot in a, in a section of yeah. it's like right. he gonna be in the news tomorrow <laughs> she gonna be in the news you tomorrow you can see it because uh, they just move man they move a little too much oh, girls okay. through the table hopping and then every yeah. girl in the club has her phone out and then they going back to so and so's house, and then the shade room pops up the next morning. So this is like comedy. Like, you, I mean, this yeah, got to be a little real, fun for you. <laughs> oh no, absolutely! It's fucking hilarious to me because you know it. You're like, yep, you you're not you're not seeing the game, bro. But she got you. That's, I, mean, I would I would I would honestly think that it could be a little uh you know, it, it could almost be a little problematic. Like, there's just so much kind of right. there's a shitstorm following you, but you've made you've made it into a funny thing. Yeah. I think that it's a misconception sometimes that people that are in the limelight are, are getting laid more than other people i mean i don't know Limelight are you are you getting laid more which, than which, mo- which most are we talking about i've I, i'm not one for the you know girlfriend or wife i think i've made that decision already i'm gonna end up having a life partner somewhere down the line like someone that yeah. i you know this is the person i can only trust we just became best shit. friends on that note Maybe so yeah that's <laughs> how it is i think that's what's gonna end up being for me like am i still playing the field and move and do whatever i want when i want absolutely yeah, yeah. do you ever do, do, so does the uh does the amount of kind of uh, crazy negative attention that that 
many other women give you, does that ever factor in or does that ever like, does that ever create a problem for you? Uh, the, the negative attention. I don't think so. Cause most girls want to step to the plate now and be like, Oh, well he said he's never going to get married. I'm going to be that one. That's I'm going to change, get, that. I'm gonna ah. change that. Never. And it's never going to happen. It's just like, you sure you think you can really handle this? You know, you just jinxed yourself on that, right? <laughs> I think so. Like, you know, you just jinxed yourself. You like, there's going to there's gonna gonna be that girl that's going to come and she's going to be that one. <laughs> and you've already said it. You've set your bar. You're like, no, but like, then it's going to happen. Like, I, Next there's week. some truth to that whole never say never thing. Yeah, never say never. Uh, my mom He's gonna meet her tomorrow at Starbucks. My yeah. mom's like, yo, it's not you, is it? I'm like, nah. I got two other brothers that can give you grandbabies. So you like, hey, he's like, I already came out of the closet to my mom, and she knows she's not getting grandkids from me. She knows. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Your mom actually supports that. She does. She she. My mom's like, girl, you better get married like now. No, nah, like, my mom no. saw it in me. She was like, yo, I see what you deal with, and I see how it goes. Like, I'd rather you be you and not have to worry about the bullshit. I like that's that. very important. Yeah, that's so. cool. That's yeah. cool. That's a cool mom. I'm a like, mama's I mean, boy. sometimes parents would be like, no, I'm gonna flick this on you and make you do this. Like I my mom. Get on Bumble. Get on Tinder. Do it now. You gotta. You gotta get that man. Get him. Get him. I'm just like, I can't do it. Yeah, so how was growing up for you? Are, are, are you from a nuclear family or just mom? Uh, mom and pops, they've been together since high school. So I got, you know what I'm saying? I got to see true love there, you know yeah. what I mean? Like at home. And then I Mine get, too, no wonder. No yeah. wonder we're not getting married. It's fine. Yeah, I'm good. We like, watch I our saw parents that. have that. You step parents out to the, like they, they didn't too. have yeah. the influences that we have. Like they didn't have yeah. the distractions. Oh, Look, we get to see everyone else's relationship, what they're going through, how to think, like what yeah. he bought her yeah. back then when it was just rumors. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if, the, if a boyfriend and girlfriend got in a fight and you weren't there to see it, it's a rumor. You see that shit publicly now. Mm-hmm. I'm good, man. Yeah, it's I'm all thinking. out there. Yeah, are you gonna get married? Uh, yeah, I'm open to it. That's you are? Good. Yeah. Nice. I mean, so in a in a uh, you know in a, in an industry like that I am in, uh, being a relationship coach and a dating coach. I, I, you know, there's so much that people kind of uh, expect out of you, perceive you as this mm-hmm. and that. Uh, and it's weird. People either perceive me as the complete Prince Charming or a complete total player and a douchebag. And it's like, you kind of got to find that middle ground. So it's funny as I'm talking about this, a lot of stuff that I deal with. Yeah. Um, and uh, when it comes down to it, like I let go of any sort of like social archetype uh, necessity. So I wouldn't get married for the sake of getting married, but I do believe in storybook romance. Like I love the idea of that. It's very, very cute to me. And I like, and I, I found, so cute. <laughs> I found a, a wonderful way to like play with, with the woman that I'm with in that way. Cause I really like Disney and I kind of grew up on that stuff. So yeah. kind of playing a lot of that stuff out, being cute Jared's and charming. Peter what the hell Shut up. Oh, you gonna sit there and tell me you didn't want to be like the princess and have the prince come sweep you up. Let me explain something to you. Here it comes. I am the table. Like, I like, I can't bring nothing to the table. I am the table. Like, <laughs> he better get used to the fact that, like, push the hot button. I don't need you. I have you in my life because you're, you're here and I like you here and that's nice and it's fun and we, we make each other better people. But you start to act up, bye. Like, I, I don't have time for it. I agree. Um, it's, look, life is hard enough. I should have you as a partner and I should know. We're going to go back to back like it's a bar fight if shit goes down. True shit. Until then, I don't have to worry about, like, don't make me worry about you. And I'm, don't worry about me. You don't have to worry about me. Yeah, like, but what is that? I'm pushed to stop. We're talking like marriage, though. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, it, that's it, you don't have to get married. You can be in a relationship you with don't somebody. You have to be signed yeah, on a piece don't of have paper. To. Like, I've already yeah. been married. Trust and believe. I don't yeah. want to do it again. And, no, yeah, that's and that's I'm a big thing. Uh, when it comes right down to it, I think a lot of marriage stems from uh, kind of an insecurity in people. And they, they think, like, I, I would say that a lot of people, a lot of women push for marriage because they're insecure about right. their, their status with the guy. Mm-hmm. And they want something to, on paper to know, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be taken care of. Right, and that if, if that's too, the reason that you're getting into that relationship uh, or if that's the reason that you want to get married, then it's a flawed premise right there. You know what? There or, is more you know. of a premise to putting your status change on Facebook nowadays than there is to having a piece of paper that nobody sees every single day when they're stalking your stuff. Mm. Like, right? Social media, sure. like if you're in a relationship, everybody knows. Let me like, explain something to you. The most important whatever. part of marriage is your life insurance. And I can get a policy with or without being yeah. married to you. So <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> True. So that's True. A piece of paper, like that piece of paper, if you can pledge that to me, Forever, me and you. Okay. Ever, ever. You know what I mean? Right. Forever, ever, ever. So, uh, I, I watched an interview of yours uh, recently, and you, got, you were talking about the tour that you did with Bow Wow and how crazy that was, and kind of where, where that shifted for you from being like kind of an adolescent, um, you know, you were, you were a child star to like off the rails. How, how did that affect you? It just showed me that, yo, it's, it's, if you have that status and that light on you, it's just constantly thrown. And it's, it's not even me putting it out there to come try and grab it. It's just like, here, it's on this plate. Like, what you going to do? 
You know mm. what I mean? It's like a game. It's like, yo, are you kidding? So you're either gonna lose your shit or you're going to do what to keep your stuff together? Like meditate? Like what did what? I mean, did no, I, I I was out there at a young age, I was sixteen, and I was partaking in anything that was thrown at me. I'm like, yo, it's here? Like, of course. I'm a, I'm a young man. I'm out here getting it. I'm, a, I'm successful. Why not? But later on down the line, it just kind of affected me because I got to see, you know, so many things during that time, like grown women in marriages, like coming into the hotel rooms with us. Right, it's right. like, what are you even doing here? Yeah. Right. At the same time, like, me and you, we saw our parents together yep. forever. Did yep. that affect how you view marriage? Hell yes. Sure. Yeah. Because she, if I was walking in, if I was my wife and my wife came and took her wedding ring off and another man just to be here, I'm like, what? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. But that's yeah. how it goes down, man. Like it's, it's real. There's no rules over there, man. There's no I, rules. I guess that's why everybody has like that celebrity fuck list. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. got like the, you. You're looking at me like you've never heard of that. Did I do the dog face? Yeah, yeah. Heard? You did the dog face. Yeah. You were like, huh? <laughs> All right. You said what? A celebrity right. who? The celebrity fuck list. All right. Uh, what is it? What is it? Is it called? I it's don't not have called one fuck of these. list. Tell me about this. Well, it it is that if we were in a committed monogamous relationship and you were to meet one of these celebrities oh, and wow. and you were yeah or something like celebrity that, hall pass that like so the, the your celebrity pass celebrity you get to pick three list? celebrities mm. that if you were to ever have an opportunity to sleep with them I you were allowed three? to that's, that's like too many up to three up now to you three greedy <laughs> motherfucker you get one you can have one bitch you can have sex with outside of our relationship but three up in your chances fuck yeah, it no, that's a little, I know, I know. a little much one yes who's your one yeah who's your one Oh, probably Angela and Jolie. I mean, oh, she's mine too. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> y'all are set. We can fuck her together. <laughs> Kill two. <laughs> Jolie's with one. She has Tyrone. A good one. She's a good one. <laughs> Tyrone. <laughs> she's a good one. Wait, who's yours, Sarah? Yeah. I don't have one. What? No, I quit playing. No, you I really don't. One. Like, I really Listen, don't. Have he, one. Jared already said the words. Everybody has one, so you gotta have one too. Because oh I gosh. have one. So who's I'm yours? I'm like, pass. Let me think of one real quick. That's I don't so know. What's yours, Cleo? <laughs> If I was in a committed relationship and there was only one woman I could step out on real quick with it. <laughs> real quick. Real quick with it. Uh, I have, I've always had a thing for Jada Pinkett Smith, and I don't know why. What? I've always yeah. had a thing okay. for Jada. She's crazy. She's sexy. I've heard that. because she's crazy, and you like that tinge <laughs> of crazy, and he's like, you know. Yeah, so she seemed like in. the type to, like, you walk in the room, and all of a sudden she just oh. tackles the shit out of you. Damn. Yeah, she seems like. Well, like a, yeah, she's like in all domination scare there? or something, you know. Ooh, she like okay. turns it all 50 shades of. Yeah. Fifty yeah. Shades of Jada. Can I reconsider now? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it with Jada. Like, See, I thought we said Jay. I thought you were going to go with J Lo, and I almost changed I mine. Too. I was like, oh, like, like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ooh, I forgot know. about J Lo. Yeah. That's crazy. She needs to get back in the headlines. Everybody forgot about J Lo. No, she didn't. We love she, you. She's got a show. Please, we love you, Jayla. We're playing. She has a show on right now. Like some, some. Oh, it's right. Yeah, she's got that detective show or something. Bastard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. She I, has a trifecta. She's like can sing and can act and like she. Sh I mean, she's super talented. See, but she there, there you go. There you go. Like marriage. Yeah, I, I would. I could do it. If J Lo wanted to marry me, yeah, I would definitely do it. I'd be well, like, hey, yeah. Listen, I'd be like, if J Lo wanted to marry me, I'd be like. Up on prop eight so quick, I'd be like, I'd be <laughs> taking pictures at like, your wedding. What you mean? Like J Lo is for everybody. J Lo is an everybody kind of a thing. It's yeah. like Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Would you fuck J Lo, Sarah? I would definitely fuck J Lo. Okay. You heard it wow. first. So I everybody, would be every, we, J Lo fucking. It's not that. I'm just saying, like when you look at J Lo, it's like I could not. If you were like, I had sex with J Lo, I'd be like, well, I'm not even mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that I just admitted that I would sleep with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, but I, I mean, I think I think the point like, that we're making here is that like Jolie. nobody would say no to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's like those cookies true. he brought out earlier. Like, how are you gonna say no? To, how are you gonna right. say no to an Oreo? In right? that like, situation, J Lo was my Oreo right then. Just right. so everybody knows. Okay, well, excuse me now. My you just got like that, that unicorn, Oreo. like like yeah. it's a unicorn. Ooh. Like you have to ride it. That was good. I like that one. Does I'll Rihanna that fall Jared. in that same ballpark? She does. It could. I'm not really into Rihanna. Okay, bad girl Riri. Yeah. I think she does. What do you mean? After that work video? <laughs> All I hear is work, work, work. I, I, I still Just feel like it's off, look, off pitch or like look, off, what is it? Off metronome. Put it on mute, watch the like, video. Yeah, I don't know what it, it is with the, some of the new music, but it's kind of like a fraction of a second off beat or off Charlie metronome. Charlie Chaplin that. And I'm just like, I can't hell, like, stand like, it. You have, who, you're talking about like Jesus Drake. Who you the kind hell of are. are you? <laughs> who the hell are you? You shut your out of here with that. That's some royalty. Rihanna comes in the room. You and you're like, oh, now you're off pitch. Look, you're like, I need oh. the, my, I need everything yeah, in a box. I need my music <laughs> very on. I, I need it on the metronome, okay? You no, suck. no fucking around with the metronome. No going over here with the metronome. I love how Scotty comes out when this, oh, this rant know, starts. Yeah. Well, whenever I'm angry about something, oh. that is my Scotty. Would you turn into you a heat bitch? Oh. 
What? Oh, he turns away. He bitch. He bitch. DeAndre. He bitch. Oh, Master DeAndre. G gets so upset about it. He'll be like, "You're right." right. He'll be like, "Nah." And the finger comes out. That's when you know Jared's mad. Oh, <laughs> <don't tell laughs> yeah, that's Judy. That's what it is. It's that's the cutest true. to me. He gets so he angry. Bitch. Okay, so mini moods. Wh- so, so when so you cute. at ref, you finished. Uh, so you went. You you basically you know you had the child star stuff. So like you had the Teen Choice Awards and all that. Like yeah. all all the Nickelodeon fans, and then you had the crazy groupie fans yeah. from the Bow Wow tour. And then what happened after that? What, where did you go? What did you do? Um, I stayed busy, man. I stayed, uh, you know, busy creating my own music, and I started, uh, you know, writing scripts, and I uh, created a clothing brand. I've, I've stayed busy. It's awesome. You know, I've awesome. stayed, had the high engagement with my following always. That's why I think it's, I, I value that fact that I'm able to still tour and do cool shit like that because the fans will show out. Yeah. Like, they'll still, when if I pull up in a city, we're selling the tour out. We did 16 cities. Nice. Like last, nice. last year alone, That's all sold out. So it's still there, man. It's still a crazy following, and people know I like to have a good time, so they come through and enjoy. Well, I have nice. a question. Nice. Where's my nice. T-shirt at? I'm like, so where the clothes at? <laughs> he seems really put together, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talk yes. about the whole celebrity thing, and you've seen, you said you've seen his long ride, yeah. right? So do you think being younger and coming into it and then, like, maturing and being like, whoa, 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 y'all too crazy, like, you know what I mean? Do you think that helped you out and saved you from turning into, like, a wreck, you know what I mean? Because, like, Justin Bieber happened and, like, whoops, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> too far, like, I, too far. I, I can't knock Biebs or, 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 you know, try yeah, I to. I can, so I did. I see. It's, she it's, can. But you, I did. You she look would. at what he is, did. like, yo, that's, like, one of the, he's a fucking icon. Like, yeah. this kid became an icon like immediately right. overnight and he just you know all these things thrown at him so he don't see the world how we see it yeah he right. looked like he, it's not even possible don't you feel like you were kind of you went through the same thing like I y'all did, didn't see nothing, nothing too too different because no, in mean, a sense no you're I right i got a feeling it looks all the same after for, you think about it for me it was really i i, I gotta give the thanks to my fa- my parents right i have so, to give it to them and okay. I, I do agree with you there like they just they let me know like the world's gonna change for you after this but just know that there's repercussions for your right. every single action but justin okay. bieber got His discovered when he was like together. five right yeah yeah. Well, six. Took to the YouTube and yeah. yeah, and then he went right from that to meeting Usher and then being brought up into this and being trained. So, I mean, part of his socialization as a human, uh, it, just as a human being, is like you're always going to be a star. You're always going to be in the limelight. And, and then the, the amount of fame was just like, ah, it's crushing. Yeah. Yes. Right. Like, I mean, right. that it, at that point, it's like, you wonder if it's even worth it to be that famous. He's so mm-hmm. talented. I get so you, I mean, he can't him. go out and eat. Like, he can't walk right. down to the store and grab a pack of cigarettes. Nothing. You see the post. He's like, yo, I'm that done was, taking photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was about to say. And that's sad because, like, he is so talented. I feel so bad for him. Like, I'll look at him. And I hope he does, like, a Kanye where, like, you know, Kanye got his stuff together, at the, like, late in the game when he met Kim. And now it seems like he's gotten it together and he's doing better. He's you just like, he's doing better. He thinks I, he's, I he's feel like, like he is doing much Well, he better. had the Messiah. So now he's like, okay, I'm done. He's like, carry on. He's going to the world. He's turned down. I feel like for Kanye, he's turned down like just to a Twitter rant, and then he's saving people at the airport. Like he's turned into a pretty nice guy. Like well, Kanye's you know, kind of turn- when you watch some of his line, interviews like- and stuff, like and he actually kind of like he kind of addresses some the, like the way he is, and he, you kind of understand it all of a sudden. Yeah. He's not like for, he's not mentally ill like he comes off no. when he's talking about him being Jesus. He's just he actually lays it out. He's like you know you got a lot of haters, a you got a lot of stuff. You just got to keep pushing forward. And a lot, I think a lot of his messages on success are really good. The more I realize that with any sort of success, you magnetize, you polarize right. people, and you're going to get just as much hate as you do love. Mm-hmm. And the bigger you get, the more hate you get. And I'm just starting to realize that like it's unavoidable. Like even right. with the elections right now, we're looking at we've got Trump who's, you know, Trump. We've got Hillary who's a, a, Hillary. a crook right. and a liar. <laughs> right. And then we've got Bernie who's a complete socialist like running around. And it's like but you see like nobody can agree on this. It's not like like some people love Bernie, other people hate Bernie. Some right. people love Hillary, other people hate Hillary. And it's like it just doesn't matter when you're up on that uh, up on that pedestal. You're gonna get equal parts. There's never anybody that everybody just loves There's except a for Prince. Maybe snowball of attention yeah. that comes <laughs> to territory. I saw snowball like, of attention. I saw like the best meme recently, and it was like, look. What if we all just promise to be real cool for eight years and no one's president? Like, <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> and I feel like that's so legit just how I feel. Peace. Like we're gonna be playing it real cool, everybody. Like we're gonna play it real cool. Can stay inside your box and then like you know yeah. we'll just try it again in eight more years. <laughs> like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Because this whole lot, no. Nah. Yeah. Or can I we just know, like right? wash the board and pick somebody new? Yeah. Right. Switch new. Yeah. What I was saying was like I love Justin Bieber. I hope he like gets his stuff together because I feel like. 
I, I would like I to think see he him did. Back. But no, like recently here again, they were saying he was exhibiting some other behavior that was like bad or whatever. And I hope that they're wrong That's about like that. That's like a, I like something so that's Do you know what I was doing so when I was a teenager? Either. He's so talented. Like, like I don't want to see him. All the shit that. that I, all the trouble I got into from like 15 to 20. Oh my God. Like, and he's been under the spotlight and scrutiny of, you know, it's like, right. Jesus. And if I had all that money too. Oh, I'd be in jail. I, I'd be in <laughs> fucking jail. He has done pretty well for everything. Yeah, you know, it started with the roast. They had the roast. and I, He was a good sport yeah. with that. He kind of like, he made fun of himself and humbled it out. Do you ever do you ever find like you kind of have to like kind of sit back in reality a little bit and kind of kind of fuck with yourself yeah, make fun of yourself? I do that. Yeah, I do that on a daily okay. basis. Like I shoot at myself constantly. That's why if something gets said to me, it, re- it doesn't bother me at all. Like it, it doesn't affect me. Yeah. I, I went I went back and forth with someone on social media recently and they tried to make the, the whole thing like you haven't been relevant since holes. And I'm like, yeah. really? And I looked at the, all the shit I've done. I was like, OK, tour, da, da, da. And then I was like, well, I haven't been relevant to maybe in your world. Yet every single year holds is still a required reading book and they show the film. So every single year I get a new following just because it's a cult classic. Hater. <laughs> DX shops from like, the, you know, WWF dies. Like, drops the mic. Yeah. Yep. Same yeah. generation. Yeah, man. Yeah. I remember that when that came out. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. Like, I'm what are you going to say to that? So. Like, what did she say? Like, yeah, who's it she or he? Uh, it was a she. And Why did uh, she say that? Like, that, oh, no, basically, like, you just said to her, like, in short, bitch, if you're going to die, die. That, no, I don't and give a and shit. Everyone like, agreed. Like, it was not yeah. It was not an equal thing for her at all. They were like, well, bitch, what you going to say now? Right, Loki, exactly. He just offed you, and he's 100% right. And it's like, well, yeah, that's how it goes. Who's your favorite wrestler? Of all times? Yeah. Really? Of, Next so, question. Like, personnel, <laughs> like, I'm such the fan where, like, I know all the behind the scenes. Okay. Shawn Michaels is my favorite in-ring wrestler of all time. Okay. Favorite you know, personality, Stone Cold. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to say The Rock because you did a film with him. So, funny and- <laughs> story about The Rock. So, no, Rock, I was, was a, a huge setup. Rock fan. And back in the day, we were shooting Walking Tall, and I had a PlayStation that was like, they had the flip-up screen, so I yeah, could take yeah, it everywhere yeah. and play it. So, I had the WWF game. So, we were playing it against each other on set. I picked Stone Cold. Of course, who the hell do you think he picked? Oh, the Rock. Rock. And he got his ass whooped. On the <laughs> game. And he was not happy about that, like, at all. Like, really? Like, just, like, I'm, oh, I'm here, so and you're going to beat me with someone else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he was so kind of hurt by that, man. But no, nah, I'm a Stone Cold fan. Okay, yeah, okay. Man. Yeah, you know, I I, I I, even had, like, little wrestler action figures. And I had The Rock, and I had Stone Cold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Get some mail. Oh, I mean, yeah. you know. Jeez, bro. Yeah. That was crazy. But, you know, it, that's um, it bring up a really interesting point is he was, uh, what is it, Rocky Maivia. Yeah. And everybody hated him, his character on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, on well, I think it was WWF at the time or yep. WWE. Monday Night Raw. Monday, yeah, WWE. Okay. And and then he went through a reinvention. And a lot of, I mean, within the celebrity circuit, a lot of people have to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's funny how just changing your name, he went from uh, Rocky Maivia to uh, The Rock. And yep. everything changed and his whole attitude changed. And then with Justin Bieber, he went from like, baby, baby, oh, to like, ooh, girl. <laughs> right, and it was like, and it was like this too. Like, I had no idea. But it was, it was as simple as he showed up to a roast, let everybody make fun of him, and he did it in a suit. Yes. And then yeah. he left. I feel like you're right. He had like a man bun during it too. He yeah, yeah. So he had his hair slicked shit, back, and, like, and he just took it like a man. Cute? And then <laughs> he got to roast back, and I thought his roast was actually pretty it was good. Really, really yeah. good. Yeah. So. And it was just that one moment in the media, everybody was like, oh, we forgive him. Like, we, you know. Right. But it's crazy to have to do stuff like that. Do you ever feel like you have miscommunication issues with women? Like, do women come up with pre, pre-existing ideas about who you are? Like, you're like, you are you meet a girl, you're like, oh, hey. And she's like, oh, no, you're a child actor. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's the same how you broke it down as far as, like, either being, uh, you know, Prince Charming or a complete, you know, womanizer. Yeah. It's like, like those are the only two things you can be. It's like, I'm... Okay, maybe both in a sense, but I really I'm not putting that out there for Prince you to come judge. Prince Womanizer, at Prince the same Womanizer, Prince Womanizer, Starfucker, Prince Womanizer. These are the things that we're Isn't adding. Isn't that technically Christian Gray? Yeah, that's it. Exactly, Christian Gray, Prince Womanizer. That's um, you know, I think those are the misconceptions that I get a lot, and, and you know, I, again, I'm not planning on getting married in the first damn place. So mm-hmm. if you come along for the ride, come along for the ride as long but as you want. But what about tying somebody come up and keeping them in a room? You know. Yeah, Whipping no. them on something, you know? No. no. Is that something you want? No, like it's that's Christian Gray. Oh, okay, got it. Like, that's a Christian felony. Gray. <laughs> we just <laughs> go like, bondage here? Murder. What are we? You've what never been that? handcuffed? Uh, <laughs> shit turned real quick on you. My mom. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. I've never been. I've never been arrested. No, never been arrested. No. Okay, that was a good answer. Good, good I like what you did. Yeah, yeah. Great, never great been cover. in handcuffs. Slick. I've never been arrested. Great right. cover. Because nobody knows what we're talking about right now, Sarah. 
What? Yeah. Listen, so, officer. <laughs> <laughs> I've been very good today. So anyway, so when it comes to like, do you ever find that you have like, do you have to have game now? Man, no one has to have game what now. Kind of you got over a that, thousand Jared? followers. All of a sudden, you're like, you, that's your game. Yeah. Mm, yeah okay. and no, like the game is completely switched. Like, yeah, you can jump in someone's DM and get nudes. Like, remember okay. how hard it yeah, used to yeah, be yeah, to get yeah, that yeah, back yeah. in the day? <laughs> like, it's nothing now. But it's showing it half the time anyway. Like, I, I think that's through social media. Like, I, when's the last time you were approached by a man? Like in real life? Yeah, in like, real life. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You go. I mean, uh, today. Okay. And what do you say? I mean, like, he's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he comes up like all weird. He's like, hey. Hey, how are you? And I'm like, I'm, I'm well, how are you? I was at the grocery store and he was like, oh, I was thinking about getting some of those. And it's just really random. And the grocery like, store approach like, is the worst. Which, which, like, what do you, like, just get to it. Like, if he'd have mm -hmm. walked up and been like, hey, girl, I'd have been like, hey. You're like, you've like, never eaten you know kale. I mean? but you've never eaten all, kale like, in yeah. your life and I know it. You don't so know how to saute no kale. Quit playing. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 and then, like, too, it's just like, you know, like, when he comes up, like, when a guy comes up to you like that, it's so weak. But I, I disagree with you. Like, you always got to have game. Like, but stay on your game. So he stepped up to you like that, and you saw it as like that wasn't real game. It was right? so weak to me. I was so tired of it before I even started talking. I was like, so if he would have came through your Instagram DM and be like, not Yo. how I was talking about. No, I'm saying like if he had come to me more confident mm -hmm. and like with the same attitude, of like I already like I know what you want. Mm -hmm. So quit playing. And he came up to. But me. is that game or is that simply confidence? Both, mm. and I need both at the same damn time. Maybe some uh -huh, creativity okay. involved like, there, too. What if he would have come up to you and said, oh, I got this cool recipe, you're buying this or whatever, and he would have taken it to the next level? I would have been like, first of all, can I meet your boyfriend? <laughs> like, and that's, well, you know, for me, see? that might have been a turn on for me. No, I would have been like, well, no, where's your boyfriend? No, man like that. Like, like that no, like, situation. Look, the no. judging. Immediate I am, judging. I am. I would be. Because, like, look, I know I cook. Like, I got this. Like, I don't need, I don't need <laughs> help. Like, there's so many things I don't need help with. So I heard, I th I, and I don't know if it was you that was saying this, but I heard that women can, um, they can tell within five seconds if they want to fuck a guy or that not. That was probably me. I said uh, that. Uh, yeah. I would never say that because I can never tell within five seconds. Good. Okay. It was definitely okay. me. I mean, I could tell, <laughs> like, I could tell like, like, if I have chemistry with someone, like, if it would be cool, like, but I can never tell if, like, yes, I would go down and, like, what you looking inside of what No, I'm trying for? to see because there's another woman, so I was like, can yeah. we ask her? Like, mm. we, can, said, we can pull the audience for sure because I can definitely well, we'll tell. Get, we'll, we'll start a discussion in the comments. So, you, seconds, so when you guys are watching seconds. this, you can Five comment so below on seconds. what you yeah. think I just feel like about this. I feel like that's, like, a sellout move. Like, like, hold on, what you mean? You walk up in there and you're like, boop, within like this this for me would be like if there's a <laughs> gun to your crazy. head it's on too crazy, too on the crazy. decision mm -hmm. with each person that you girl. meet. Well, no. no, what I mean, like if you had to make the decision, I can't. In, within a certain amount like, of time, I, can't. <laughs> too much I could tell <laughs> if I had to make the decision. I could tell within five seconds. I want to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, she says she says gun like metaphorical gun. What she means is one by that lime. <laughs> He's like, yep, no, Jared, yep, no. No, like, I mean, like, let's scale this back. No, <laughs> if you had to make the decision, not if you had to sleep with a person, but okay. make the decision if you would consider. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I yeah, mean, I, I'm the same like, way with women. Me five like, seconds, me five seconds. I can really? tell, I can tell within about five seconds of okay, talking to somebody. So I'm not crazy. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm attracted, attracted to her or not. Attraction to like, me, it's cold water or like a pill, like y'all some hose, like slow down. But not, not contrary. Conversely, like where, whereas women, they kind of meet somebody and they kind of like warm up to them and they get to know them and they're like oh wow you know I, i'm starting to like him you know that's, that's how women kind of work like you can there can be no attraction in the beginning and then you can create attraction whereas with me it's like i can walk up and i can be like oh that girl's beautiful and i could i'll know right then and there that i'm not she's gorgeous but i'm like nope not attracted to her See, and yeah. i can't make it work mm -hmm. i can't mm -hmm. like there's no way that i can tr change my brain to like grow into it or i'm just like it's just not gonna fucking work and i've tried this again and again and again to like reverse the psychology i'm like yeah you're great but then <laughs> it doesn't work that's such a boy thing to me though like i think i could agree with you but i think that's such a boy way of looking at it for me it's like how does he approach me when it comes down to that maybe being a possibility and if he's a disrespectful motherfucker i'm like tell him you disrespectful motherfucker quit playing with me so like wait how that. much like, disrespect is too much disrespect and because i know you're like, like any. just a smidgen just like, a look smidgen? at me the wrong way within just the first five minutes i'd be like bah, like <laughs> you dismissed you're done like because look Difference between a good girl and a bad girl. Everybody doesn't know this, but I'm going to tell you what it is. A good girl is selective with who she's bad with. And a bad girl is just always bad. Okay. So you have to you have to really slow that down. And when you... I told you that quote didn't make sense last time you texted it to me. <laughs> okay, well, let me explain it to you okay. then. Like, a good girl will only be bad, like, get down with daddy. You know what I mean? And then, like, with leave daddy. everybody else alone. <laughs> 
who comes her way like she can yeah. without a problem it's like it's not an issue and that's that's what a, a good girl is it doesn't mean like numbers don't really don't worry about all that like if you're selective and you're staying with one guy and you're doing your thing like and, and that's you're a good girl like don't worry about it. just be a good girl yeah, as you said the sub mutant division of los <laughs> angeles all bad girls yeah all they're they're definitely many just, bad girls. yeah uh yeah and i've seen a lot of that do you do you ever get that like do you do you, do you ward that off because like there's like the groupie class do you wear garlic around your neck <laughs> <laughs> like, vampire sluts no if i know that they've been like if i've seen them or i, I genuinely know that they didn't pop them off and on several occasions it's not something I'm, I'm even about to even let in my realm like right. at all like no you can't even come to our section don't even try it and yeah. you must you must see them go from like kind of person to Hell like group hopping. to group like Hell isn't it called yeah. homie hopping it's homie hopping it's crew studi- hopping is studio Squad sessions hopping, with them hopping, and like they post in so and so studio and then so and so's house and then so and so's car it's like right this was in a week time frame how the f- did she get around that yeah quick? like she's not recording demos no and okay, that's the thing you so. definitely don't do music so what right. are you really doing in the studio okay how much see, co- coffee people, are you getting people DM <laughs> how you was talking about <laughs> people used to be able to do that kind of stuff like under the radar so what you know it, would, it wouldn't get back around but now with instagram and it's like you know that just makes them feel more important. So. Instagram is the new song to catch about this shit. <laughs> it goes down the DM. It's yes. a huge song that's out yeah. right now. Like there's a song yeah. about this shit. It's so popular. What you it mean? Goes down on the DM. Yeah, Social where's Chris? Yes. Yes. Where's Chris up. Hansen and the cookies when we need him on Instagram? Speaking <laughs> of songs, I'm gonna yeah. give a shout out to uh, my chiropractor, Bruce Householder, because hey, he Bruce what Householder, the hell does it have to do with songs? Uh, <laughs> I'm done now. Uh, because <laughs> he uh, also starting a music management company, oh, cool. and they just released a song. Um, by one of his artists, Dario, and that song is called, hold on, it's loading, guys. It's called Jared's Neck is Fixed, and he's so thankful. Uh, you can find that on YouTube. It's called <laughs> Dario, Try It. Thank you, uh, Dr. Bruce Householder. He's the, you can Google him. He's the only Dr. Bruce Householder. It's like how he holds it's, houses. It's quite a name. It's fucking awesome. really name, is. Right? Yeah, it is. So, uh, yeah, you guys, right. can, uh, you guys can go check him out, and then check out Dario, Try It. Uh, it is on YouTube now. It's kind of a Prince-ish, Adam Lambert-ish kind of music. But it's Jared, very poppy. And Jared, okay. where can, can people buy your book now, too? Can we talk yeah, about absolutely. that? Absolutely, yeah, you can. You can buy it on Amazon. Methodology awesome. of the Modern Male. Buy that shit, bitch. Yeah, buy it. Um, Methodology yes. of the Modern So we're not at that time yet. Yeah. Well, no. actually, I actually went a little early, so we still have plenty of time to I'm ask more some questions. Cool. When do you feel like you actually grew into, like, was there ever a time when you kind of felt like you came into your own as, like, a man or – was that progressive? <laughs> yeah. Well, on that day, what yeah. happened? <laughs> it was, it like, was a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris Hansen might have come around the corner. No shit. No, I never want to see that Bowl guy ever. No. Um, I was <laughs> I, I was like 21. Sucks. I think it was like on my 21st birthday. I was actually just sitting there. And then it, had, it might have been after a sex session, I think. Ooh, and, then I was like, like, and then I looked down and I was like, I looked at the, out the window. I'm like. I paid yeah, my I got, bills today. I got to switch some <laughs> shit up. Man. It's time to switch some shit up. Okay. You know, I just got, Damn. I started looking at the world just a little bit differently. I just wanted to get so much more on my business and things like that. Like, you know, being on top of everything, not letting everyone else handle stuff. And I think that was the day they kind of switched up for me at 21. That's oh, cool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, a lot of guys come into that kind of modality, uh, uh, ideology when they're tw- in their mid twenties, like 25, 26. So it kind of came early for you. Yes, sir. And do you think that that had to do with the onslaught of women? <laughs> yeah. I, I've done the, all the this onslaught. already. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I, I yeah. see like, you know, onslaught. not like I see people and I'm like, yo, yo, y'all still doing the same old shit. Like right? y'all still doing I'm this shit? so with you on that. It's I am the same so old shit yeah. for y'all. Like no with way. You I can't. That. I'm so same glad that bars, I had that. Different bottles. Yeah. It's like you see that 45 year old club promoter, like still with the bottle. Still with the bottle. Like, still yeah. fist bumping. <laughs> so you know what's sad? Still promoting the Thursday night. Three years. And I've never been to one club. Oh, we taking her out to a club yeah. just for the experience. Yeah, we might have to do that. Just for it. The yeah. lies you tell. Like yeah. The lies you tell. This is true. The lies. <laughs> you heard it first. I said no. we will. We, we should. I didn't say that yeah. you would actually make it. That's is, this like, is this like homework? Like you having a tender? For for work, this, I feel like this, this actually nice thing to do. this could be a pretty good social <laughs> experiment to, to get her this? out like, in a club setting. Is like, All right, have an so I'm writing it so into the, the pilot, yeah, and yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna take we're gonna take you, we're gonna put you in a club, we're gonna mic you up, and we're gonna leave you there alone. We're going to go sober. club hopping <laughs> with Leah Pelka. <laughs> I got an attitude, so I'm not. Yes, I know that's what I'm counting on. Exactly why we're gonna be club hopping with her. Most ratchet club in Los Angeles. Super ratchet. That's where I'm gonna take. We'll take you to Playhouse. We'll take you to Playhouse. Mic him to Playhouse. Mic check. We'll just go down. Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, we gotta go we got all the clubs. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's happening. Yeah. You look happening. super excited right now. And we get to dress you 
Can I and get like drunk? the whole thing. Uh, no, actually, oh, you have yeah. to go in there looking mad ratchet, black dress, <laughs> black laced heels. First of they all, go right never here. Never a day in my life, never can, never will. You gonna have to get past that. That's a no, a hard oh, no. What is it? What never. Is it? I'm never oh, gonna look ratchet. Not no. once. It's but a no, hard, it, hard no. Oh. <laughs> this is for the love of the experiment. I would love though. to like, see her like. Have to play it out. I gotta see her doll. Like I said, I have an attitude. Like I got an attitude. I don't know. She never shows up dolled up. I don't like. Fuck y'all. She's like. Like, it's in the attitude. It. It's in the attitude. But but you know she's she's raised the bar on herself a little bit. You know you kind of keep talking about it. We're gonna have to see it. You're gonna have to come on the next show like just. Pow. Why do I? Why is it, it on me? First of all, good healthy challenge because we've I'm already been to the clubs. Like, <laughs> y'all know. Like, you, know you know there's a thing going around about choking necklaces right now, right? What is going mm-hmm. around? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, like, I, don't I just know, realized really she's know. wearing one. Like I'm like, a oh. setup. If like a setup, I'm like, no, <laughs> don't tell me. Yeah, wait, yeah. what is it? Because I don't know what it is. No, there's like a whole meme going around about girls and choker necklaces what in this that? generation. Like, they just think they'll steal your soul orally. Oh, what? got it. Choker. Y'all think that's a got meme? It. That's facts. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. Glad she put it out there. I mean, no knee pads needed. No filters. Glad she put it out there. So much talk. Well, and I mean, I'm sure that like. See, that's right. First of all, that's right. So much talk. Let it be known. Ain't had sex with Jared. Never not once. Like, that's not. I'm just saying like. People ask me all the time. True. I used to get it too. It's okay. In this seat right here. No, I don't. You do get that question a lot. I get that question all the time. Really? It's a fair question. Not going to happen. Like. That's not how I roll. That's not how I do things. Like, let it be known that my words are backed up. That's not how I roll. I'm your boss. (laughs) 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 Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, back to... This this just went... It went went left. It went left. Um, You got... So, what's like... If you had to give, like, our guys out there one piece of advice, like one piece of dating advice, what would you say? What would you you impart to the younger generations? (sighs) Or older. Both. Don't worry about this Instagram and social media stuff. Like, if you find you a good woman and you know she's a good woman, don't be influenced by all this stuff. People read memes nowadays, and that really is driving people's relationships. Like, they yeah. really feel that they, they have right. to be what they see. And it's not like that. If you genuinely know this was a good woman. Don't worry about her wearing a choker necklace then. Right? It, don't worry yeah, about that Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll agree with her on that one. Yeah, definitely that. Just, just, yeah. just if you know you got a good woman, stick with a good woman, man. Yeah, that's what right. I would say. Do you believe in monogamy? Yeah. Okay. In a sense, yeah, I do. There was okay. a bunch of yeah. calls there. <laughs> well, he has to because his yeah. parents. I mean, my parents. It's yeah. the same thing. So I, I have to. My parents were as well. My parents I have to believe in what I see. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like I believe. I mean, monogamy obviously exists. It's not like believing in Jesus. Like you know, it's right. like oh, monogamy. Like there it is. Um, but aside from that, there's also like I I we've and we've done shows on this like being in polyamorous relationships or open relationships or polygamous relationships where. I've met people that have made it work entirely where they literally have a girlfriend and a wife and the wife has a boyfriend and they're like, they're just, they're just but all doing their own thing. Believing is yeah. different than practicing. You can believe in something, not necessarily practice it. Yeah, so. but they're, they're certainly, pra- well, I mean, yeah, the same could be said for. Religion, I think that's just respect. I think if you just like, if you like, because if I see something, I could never be that. Like, I just respect it. I'm like, all right, cool. Like y'all do y'all behind y'all's closed doors. Congrats, bro. Like. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, that's just respecting something. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to, but you don't have to practice it. But I'm saying, like, I've seen people, and I agree with you, like, especially out here, it's crazy. Cause, like, I've seen some of the craziest relationships. Yeah. But they work. They fi- And, like, they figured out a way to make it work within them. And, like, this, they're on, like, 20-plus year relationships. Not like a, a, you know what I mean? Like, not like a no two-year thing. Like, yeah. they're, they're quite and, unconventional. And sometimes, you know, when it gets it into, uh, like, when we get into, like, the real relationship talk, it is really about kind of like, you know, finding that compatibility or sometimes people making kind of exceptions. I don't I don't know necessarily if it's like like, you know, guy meets a girl, she's by and he, he, you know, it's just it just works out like that. Or if she was like, it's OK if you're with other girls like that. I don't really care. What's blah, your blah, percentage? You know? Is it 80, 20? Is it 60, 40? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like there's, there's just so much. But when you were talking about kind of like not believing in marriage i was like wait so how far does this rabbit hole go are we are we going all the way down to like he's got five girlfriends like <laughs> nah see, I, I, I can't, was it when yeah, you were a little he's that like that's a, a setup yeah, that's nah. a setup you can't it's hard enough to keep one woman happy how the hell are you hitting i keeping, agree it's that's hard enough i like, agree it's i, I couldn't deal with that no way 
Dude's, yeah. Dude's keeping four women happy. I'm like, you must be spending a lot of money, bro. Yeah. <laughs> God, damn, right? No like way. Sister Wives, that show was crazy. Woo! It would just that be too much. Would, yeah, it's like too much. About, like as it is, like one girlfriend is like too much for me. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, will you stop? Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> but can you imagine but like if they all are mad at you capacity. at the same damn time? Like if they all know about you and they're all or they're all on their periods too. They're all mad at you at the same time. All angry and all ragged. Yeah. Oh, well, and, all and women together, start. Of course. Women start to cycle, cycle together. together. Yeah. So that all the periods at the same time. So <laughs> it's like they turn to like a little witch group, like yeah. a, little, <laughs> a little like Trinity <laughs> back in all your memory, just shadow. like a little. <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd, have to, you'd, you'd have to like kick the door open and throw some pop brownies in there real quick. <laughs> <and> right. <shut laughs> <it. laughs> right. Like. <laughs> What happens if you go spend the night with one and she comes in? She's like, "Why are you mad at Sarah?" And you're like, "Oh shit, I just left her house. Like, why well, I gotta hear you too? Like, uh, that's, that's just no messed up." You, are you giving the good greatest idea about the pop brownies? So, yeah, yeah we're just gonna just gonna start using those. They're like, they're like I you wish know, I grenades. wasn't allergic to that. Gosh, <laughs> I feel like I can benefit my life. Would be it's so like much there's more a, there's another one that says chocolatey. like, yeah, this is like when a woman's angry, just like throw her a wine and chocolate in a yes. corner until she stops growling. Yes. <laughs> that wow. that would Agreed. probably work for me. Agreed. That would totally yeah. work for me. Like. Yeah. If someone's like, look, I take a nap. I'm going to order dinner. I'm like, mm, my and this should be all like, okay. should be like, what? Like, that's not, you know, and but she make should sure go uppity about the one, fact that you're, you're talking yeah, about her growling, but she'll, like, look, you know, we'll in between bites. Let me just tell y'all real bites. quick. What are you talking about growling? Let me just tell you real quick, man. Y'all think that Demons. we're crazy, but let me tell you the real secret. If you're like, look, baby, you turned up right now. I love you more than anything. Please go take a nap. I'm going to order some dinner. Like, you got to shut up, though. I'd be like, right. All right, then. Um, good night. Like you know, you, I mean? like you that's the put, key. Like you that's could put the way a crazy you bitch in her place. You but could end an argument by telling me you're gonna order me a good dinner and yeah. like take care of me. I'm like, all right, I'll just pout and go take a nap. Like, I've I'm, noticed that recently. That food seems to be like the key to any woman's uh, heart. It's, it's got to be good food. Though. Promise you, it's, it's really, really switched up. Promise recently. you, the only time I'm cheating on you is at McDonald's. Promise you. Promise you. Hand to God. Yeah. So food, huh? That's yes. We're gonna log that. Food, yeah. Man. That's what I've seen recently. I'm like, wow. Yeah, they purse. I don't need a purse. I want, like, I can't no. eat a purse. Like, <laughs> <laughs> an edible oh, purse. Give me an edible purse. <laughs> Done. Hey, we can make those. I'm, 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 getting, I'm, getting I'm getting the worst visuals right now. I'm just sitting in yeah. on, on the purse. Yeah. <laughs> I can get my own damn um, purse. Mm. So, Cleo, uh, what do you what have you got to promote? What's going on right now? And uh, where can people find you? Finishing up the album right now called Where Do We Begin? Uh, the first single drops first week of June. Cool. Um, Starting the uh, my own film, executive producing a film that I co-wrote. Uh, the film is called The Drop Off. And quick, th- I haven't told anyone actually the synopsis, so this will be the first time Ooh, I say what the synopsis nice. is. So well, late breaking you. news. Late breaking news. So the film is about uh, a crew of three guys who use social media to track out their next uh, robberies. So oh, wow. if you're Instagram socialites and things like that, and you put all your business out there when you're not home because you're hosting at so-and-so's place, mm. we know you're not at home. Oh. So we're going to be hitting a lot of people. And I, I plan on actually crossing the boundaries between reality and the actual film because I plan on implementing all the actors and the artists that buy their real names and oh. everything like that. So it's going to be fun. Very That's cool. cool. Yeah. That's cool. Very cool. Really cool. Cool. So what else? Anything else? Uh, clothing brand, SlickLivingApparel.com. We dropped the uh, pink dad hats tomorrow. The girls have been waiting on that for a very long time. Whoa, whoa. Now yeah. I'm in line to wait on that. So, <laughs> I'll make sure and get what you up? one. I got you. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that's uh, my film, Soy Nero, is at the, the Berlin Film Festival. So, yeah, that's what's going on in my oh. life. Cool. Staying and busy. Where can people find you? Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Cleo Thomas. Uh, the Snapchat is slick underscore living. And then I'll download my app, Live Video which is a lot of fun on there right now. Awesome. Have, you tried, have you seen live video yet? Go. Uh-uh. Got to introduce you to that. Oh, okay. It's, it's the wave. I'm excited. It's the wave, man. The new wave. Yeah. And as always, you can find her at Leah Pelka. You can find her at Sarah Beth Harris. <laughs> Look at how to... streamlined I did this. <laughs> Sarah, I mean, hey, I'm not going to go through the teeth pulling. I'm not going to go through it. He asked me, and I'm like, ugh, who cares? Like, yeah. it's just Instagram. And Jared, where can, where can people find you? And you can find me now, new, with the streamlined shit. At Modern Mail Inc. on all social platforms and website. What's up now? At Modern Mail Inc. Good Get job. it. Way to consolidate, Good Jared. Good job, and that Go is it girl. for tonight, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Modern Mail Radio. Bye. You're listening to Modern Mail Radio with Jared Zavistoski, right here on LA Talk Radio.